Hello ladies, today we're gonna get moving with a little bit of strength training and stretches and a small relaxation period as well. So let's get started with this yoga program. We are going to start in thunderbolt position, which is just having a kneeling pose with your toes curled under and then having a seat. And take a moment to just breathe. Bring your awareness to the present moment and try to allow yourself clarity through this practice. Cue in with your breath. Your breath will give you the strength to carry out this practice. Listen to your body throughout today's yoga routine. And just try your best. Move and strengthen and smile and find this a chance to uh, have gratitude and to take care of yourself. Open your eyes if they were closed. You can make a small adjustment. This stretch is really great for the feet, especially if you feel a cramping in the legs at this point. Um, we're gonna start with a small gentle twist, so nothing too big. You're gonna take your left hand to the outside of your right leg, and then switch when you're ready. Once again, you don't wanna get into a crazy deep twist, but a gentle twist is okay. This yoga practice we're gonna do today is safe for you to do at any point in your pregnancy. If this is your first time with yoga, or if your doctor or physician recommends you not to exercise, then I would make sure you get clearance before starting this program. Shift your weight forward. Come on to all fours, tabletop position. We're gonna run through some cat and cows, which is a, just a gentle pelvic tilt. So as you move into cat position, what you're going to do is drop your tailbone down, round up through your upper body, and then as you move through cow, you drop your pelvis forward, your head lifts, you separate, creating space between the collarbones. And I want you just to be careful here that you're not overextending yourself and stretching too far. So this is when I say, listen to your body. If you feel that stretching, a lot of stuff is already stretching and moving throughout the pregnancy, especially in the abdominals. So just be cautious, move slowly. Come back to tabletop position. Curl your toes under once again. Press up on your hands, and then I want you to keep your legs bent, your knees bent, and then slowly raise your hip points up towards ceiling. You probably feel a really good stretch through the back of the legs here. Remember to stay in tune with your breath. Use your breath to relax and sink deeper into these stretches. Now go ahead. Peek your eyes forward and then slowly step one leg in front of the other, walking yourself up to the front of your mat. We're gonna take a gentle forward fold, take your feet to the edges of the mat, and then exhale, release your head and neck. Feel a good bend, you're bending from the hips and not just rounding at the back. So you'll feel more of a stretch in the hamstrings if you bring your hip points, like it's a bucket of water, bring your hip points forward. All right, slowly round up. So drop your tailbone down and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Do this slowly so you don't get dizzy or lightheaded. If you do, take a moment, catch your breath. Get your bearings. You can use a wall to help you with your balance. Take two cleansing breaths here in Mountain Pose. So breathe deeply in through your nose. 
Exhale through your mouth. <sighs> One more time. This time, a little bit bigger. <sighs> All right. Let's raise the right leg up off the mat. Again, use the wall for support if you need it. Step that back leg into warrior two. So if you need to take a couple steps to get there, go ahead and do that. Your back foot should be parallel to the edge of your mat and your front leg is pointing forward. So we are getting this opening in the hips. Inhale, reach your arms up, exhale. Take your arms out to the side. Stay nice and strong through the upper body. We are sinking into warrior two and we're gonna take three breaths here. Inhale, reach your arm up. As you do so, extend the front leg. Place your hand on the back leg and you can move any amount into reverse warrior. So get a nice stretch through the side body, but don't overdo it. Take one more breath here. Exhale, come right back into warrior two. This time you're gonna rest that front arm on your leg and you're gonna inhale reach your arm forward. We're coming into side angle pose. So you can stay up in that stretch, elbow on the knee, or if you wanna sink deeper, you're welcome to do so by taking your hand right down towards the ground. Take one more breath here. Inhale, power up. Let's switch sides. So take your toes, point them forward to center, Slight intermission, we're gonna take a forward fold, bending from your hip points. We already have done this before. This time it's going to feel a little bit easier, a little smoother. Drop your chest forward. You're welcome to use blocks at any point to get yourself situated in the pose. This can help you relax sink deeper, it can make the pose a little easier if you were to raise your blocks up onto the highest point to keep a nice straight spine. Once again, you are your own leader. Your body will tell you the way. Inhale, lift straight up. Straight up. So your spine is nice and long here. Tuck your chin, create that length. Exhale, fold down even a little further. All right, this time inhale, lift halfway up. Take your hands to your hips and raise all the way back up towards the center. This time we're going to situate ourselves into warrior two on the other side. So make sure your back leg, the foot is parallel with the edge of the mat and your front knee is pointing forward and then sink nice and deep to get further into the stretch. Breathe, pull in the arms, engage through the backside body, keep the back leg active, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Take one more breath here. Next inhale, extend your front leg, reach your arm up towards the ceiling. Reverse warrior. One more breath. All right, sink right back into warrior two. And this time we're gonna move into extended side angle. So take your elbow or arm, place it on your knee, inhale, reach your opposite arm up towards the ceiling and over your head. And if you wish to sink a little deeper, go ahead and do so. One more breath here. Engage to the legs, engage to the core, rise right up. Take your toes, point them forward, forward fold one more time. 
hinging from the hips here. Bring yourself forward, chest remains straight, your spine is straight. And this should be easier and easier every time you fold into forward fold because you're getting a little looser. So your muscles have been worked, they've been heated up, and then they're gonna relax. You're using your breath to sink a little deeper into these poses. Inhale, halfway up, lift, finding length. Exhale, forward fold, one last time. And then go ahead, heel your toe, your feet together, then take your toes wide, and we're going to have a seat into a squat pose. And a couple things here. If you have a hard time getting into a squat, you can always use a block to assist you. So resting your hips on a block or a blanket, if you don't have a block, is going to allow you to relax and release the tight, tightness in your hips. <clears throat> you wanna make sure as you're in this squat that you're not just sinking down and slouching forward and your shoulder blades are coming forward. Instead, I want you to stay active. So you're strengthening the legs, which is really important for strengthening the pelvic floor muscles and actually will help you with your birth. So there is benefit to doing this correctly. So I just want you to take a couple of minutes to correct your squat. <clears throat> if you can get your heels down to the ground, try to do so. But if your calves are very, very tight, it may be hard to do that. So you can actually get into the squat a little bit better by using a blanket behind your heels and you may feel a bit more comfortable. That's just because those calves are really tight. <clears throat> so play around with that. And if it's tightness through your pelvis, through your hips, then just using the block to assist you is going to be beneficial as well. So open up, spread through the collarbones. Use your elbows here to press against those knees to keep them nice and wide. Take one more breath here. Awesome. If you have a black there or a blanket, remove it. Press your hips back up towards the ceiling. Take your hands up towards your hips. Engage to stand up nice and tall. Step to the front of your mat. And then we're going to have a seat. Or a lay, I should say. We're going to do a couple strengthening exercises for the glutes and the hamstrings by coming into bridge pose. <clears throat> I want you to be aware of how you feel while you're in these poses. If you start to feel shortness of breath or dizzy at all, then um, stop doing these exercises. They can really help alleviate back pain if you're experiencing that and you're strengthening the hips and glutes. However, if the weight of the baby is too much pressing down on you, then you, it may not feel good for you. So listen to your body. But we're just going to do 10 hip presses. So go ahead and lay back. Take your heels towards your hip points, right by your bum. And then I just want you to press your hips up towards the ceiling by squeezing your glutes and your hamstrings to lift your hips up. Hold for three, two, one, then lower. If you want to also Practice your Kegels while you're up here. That can help strengthen the pelvic floor as well. So you can kind of do a two for exercise here. Three, two, one, release. Press your hips up. Three, two, one, release. Couple more times like that. Press your hips up. Three, two, one. We're halfway. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. 
three, two, one, three, two, one. One last time. Press your hips up. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Release. Take your knees to the side. Roll up onto your side so you're comfortable in a side leg pose. If you want to put a block in between your knees or a pillow, you're welcome to do so. Get comfy here because we're going to do a side lying shavasana. So <clears throat> it's just a moment for you to catch your breath, to relax. Clear your mind, your schedule. Maybe to connect with your baby. Placing your hand on your belly, feeling for any kicks or moves. Take a moment, practice some gratitude. Think about something that made you smile. In the last 24, 48, 72 hours. Your body is strong and capable of creating life. Trust your body. Trust this process. And enjoy this journey. You're welcome to stay here in Shavasana, lying on your side. Or you're welcome to finish this yoga practice with me. Press yourself up when you're ready. Coming into a seat. Thank you so much for joining me today for this movement and stretching and relaxation period. It's really great to have a community to share movement with and health, health at every single point of your life, not just when you're fit and running around, but also having a fit pregnancy, having a fit family, and just making it part of your every single day life. I hope you have a great day. Namaste. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. Click that red button that says subscribe and then the notification bell next to it. That way you'll be notified every time I post a new workout. If you've already subscribed, please leave a comment below. Like this video. Let me know what you thought of it or what you'd like to see more of. Have a great day. Bye.